So for today's video, I know that this looks a little bit over the top, but I want to do an Apple silicone speed test in terms of running local LLMs. So here I have assembled a few different Apple silicone machines, and we'll just go down the line from descending order. So first, we have an iMac M3, 16 gigabytes of RAM. So this is the base model CPU for the M3, but with a 16 gigabytes of RAM option. Next to this, we have a Mac Mini with the M2 Pro and 16 gigabytes of RAM. Following this, another Mac Mini. However, this is the base Apple M1 chip with 16 gigabytes of RAM. And then as a bonus, we have this little guy, a MacBook Air with the base Apple M2 chip and eight gigabytes of RAM. So that is the base M2, base M1 16, M2 Pro 16, and M3 16. So in the interest of fairness, I'm going to be using the same software, the same prompts, and the same interface on all of these machines. The interface I'm using is jan.ai. It's an open source LLM interface for your computer. You can just download it off the website. It's very simple to set up. And the model that I'm going to be using for today is the Llama 3 8B Q4, which all of these computers have downloaded. It is 4.6 gigabytes approximately, and it will provide a nice way to benchmark these computers against one another. So first up, we're going to test the M3 iMac. I have the model loaded here, and the GPU layers for this are set to 100, which I should be able to do on all of these desktops and have it working. On the laptop, I may have to tweak that a bit. And for the prompt, we're going to be using the same one. I'm just going to say, tell me about 3D printing. And we'll reload. And then we see our token speed right here in the top right. So it is a bit hard to see, and I apologize for that. However, it is sitting right around 14 tokens per second. Now, this video is going to be focused more on the speed as opposed to the content in the LLM's results. So I'm not really going to be checking this for accuracy. I am purely interested in speed. So overall, it has finished with a speed of 12.98 tokens per second, which I believe would be fair to call that 13. So now that that's done, I may just keep recording and move on to... <laughs> Sorry, the gimbal's messed up. The M2 Pro with 16 gigabytes of RAM. So we go into thread here. I'm going to select my model, which is the local one I have installed, which is Llama 3 8BQ4. Engine parameters, 32. Interesting, I can really hear the, I would assume fans going on this iMac. I don't know if it comes through in the audio of this video, but interesting. Generally a very silent machine. And I will go ahead and use the same prompt, which is tell me about 3D printing. And it will reload. And wow, wow, that is a rather significant difference. So it appears the M2 Pro is almost twice as fast as the iMac M3. Well, for this specific test, don't take that as gospel. Obviously, I'm just referring to what we're seeing here. Well, you can see that this finish with a speed of 26.7 tokens per second as opposed to the 12.98 here. So really quite close to exactly twice as fast, which pretty impressive. Now we'll move on down the line to the M1 16 gigabyte machine. I'll go back in here to thread, choose my model. And for engine parameters, I'll max this out once more. And then we'll do the same test.
All right, reloading. All right. Hmm, not bad at all. So far, we're at around 11. Oh, we can't see right now. There we go. 11. All right, so this one finished. And upon finishing, we see nothing. It is, why is it so much harder to see? There we go. 10.84 tokens per second on this machine. So that's the base M1 with 16 gigabytes of RAM. Now finally, to maybe have a little bit of fun, this one will probably be a nightmare to get the screen recording, but the M2 base model, base specification with eight gigabytes of RAM. So I will load my model, which it does give me a warning saying slow on your device. For engine parameters, if I max this out to 100, it is likely not going to work. I do have this plugged into a power adapter just because I want it to be as fair as possible given that I'm not sure if it throttles itself while on battery. Okay, <laughs> so we're seeing this gibberish result I just reloaded the app and I'm trying this again now at 35, uh, 36 layers. And we're still getting nothing. All right, being that 32 is the default, we're just gonna leave it at that and let it ride and whatever it gets, it gets. So we can see here at 32 layers, we're just getting about half a token a second, which is Interesting. Speeding up a bit. I think I'll just let this run and we'll see what happens when it's over. At about 0.95 now. We've gone over one, which is cool. Let's see if we can. There we go. A bit easier to see. And in this program, Gen AI, there's also a system monitor here. So if you click this, it shows you the utilization that your system is currently experiencing, I guess you could say. So memory right now, we're at around seven out of eight gigabytes and CPUs at 43% utilization. And as this goes on, I'll close this and we'll see what our token speed currently is. So around one token per second. So not great, but I mean, that really partially falls on Apple's decision to still put eight gigabytes of RAM in what is supposed to be a premium machine in terms of price, which I will comment no more on. I'm going to do this one more time, going back up the line, but I will open the system monitor. Okay, I guess I'll just type. All right, so this is the M1, 16 gigabytes of RAM. So we can see here, though it's a bit difficult, about 10 gigabytes out of 16 gigs, so 63% RAM utilization here, and our CPU is only at seven. And we can see our token speed is around 10.23. So as it was in the beginning, please excuse my creaky chair. Now we'll try it in the M2 Pro, which was definitely our speed winner. Open the monitor. So about 9.6 9 out of 16 gigs of RAM, so pretty much very similar utilization to the M1 16 gigabyte. CPUs at 8%, and token speed is around 25.
So finally, we'll run back over to the M316. And we'll pop open the system monitor. So this one's at 10.5 gigabytes of RAM. So 66% utilization. And the CPU is at 4% utilization, around 12.6 tokens per second. So definitely an interesting test. There's no real specific purpose of this other than curiosity and just wanting to kind of give a benchmark that used all of these same parameters sends the GPU layer offload in the laptop, but just kind of more of a controlled environment with the same prompt, the same software, and the same settings. So base M2 8 gig laptop, base M1 16 gig Mac mini, M2 Pro 16 gig mini, and M3 16 gig iMac. Let me know if you have questions or comments or want me to do other things with these machines. I'd be happy to.